do it. it it is possible yeah i was just wondering like if it's chops or something if it's not drones would it would it be better to you know what if somebody right, went right. to go i'm just just asking questions you know yeah 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 no because it makes sense though because this also has a feature in the quick sampler where it just gets the transients so when it's drums you really just need that and you're good if, if that makes sense yeah. but um okay so i'm going to show you how i sample how i use the quick sampler when you open Logic Pro on the iPad, you get all your projects, even your GarageBand projects will be in here. So you want to click the plus. That, doing that, what you said, that, that how's that like? How does that work into like your workflow? Does that does that does it slow? You feel like it slows down, or or like have you done it so many times at this point where you like oh it's second nature? It was coming to second nature, but uh -huh. the fact that I have to stop and do that is time consuming and yeah, it does it, it makes me want to just go to the easy koala or beat maker mm -hmm. 3 you know what i mean and even yeah. like beat maker 3 is a very in-depth app and you have to do a lot to get to a lot mm -hmm. but this beats that 20 times this is so in-depth there's so many different things you have to push and go into nothing yeah. is easy to find yeah, it sounds like almost like this. an NPC. It has the NPC chopping features, but like it seems like too many menus or too much transition right. between samplers to get it. Mm -hmm. That's the best way you could put it. And that's what it reminded me of. You know how in the NPC where you could like link slices and lock them? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. So I'm like, no, there's no way. There has to be a way. Yeah, GarageBand, like you said before, Cheese, it is, it wasn't sampler friendly, but this mm. beats, Logic definitely beats the garage band sampler any day it's way more in depth like y'all know the garage band sampler they, they, they i don't even know why they call that a sample that's a sample <laughs> player like it, it, I, that thing is terrible does it got time stretch yes it does Has so you, you time yeah, stretch using drum design garage... huh you time stretch it in drum designer you just change the tempo on it and it fits Okay, I like to say I like that time. That's how you time stretch on uh, reason too. Yeah, yeah, I like that time stretch too. It's just easy, you know. It's, it makes your workflow mm -hmm. go quick. Yeah. What I do yeah. like when you do put this into the drum designer track, it gives you the submixes. So once you hit that one track, all your stuff is laid out separately. Also, mm -hmm. Cubasis can do that too, but this automatically does it for you. Yeah, I'm glad Koala made that semi you know the, the new functionality is kind of like that too you know like at least mm -hmm. breaking it down into four pieces you know 